today he will be joining me for a yoga workout for the third trimester. To begin, we're going to warm up sitting up nice and tall. We're going to be have our shoulders back and then we're just going to do some shoulder rolls going back or have your hands on your knees and we're going to go roll our shoulders back. Now we're going to look over our shoulder to the left. You want to take about three deep breaths here. And after that, we're going to turn all the way over to the right. Back to the middle. And after that, we're going to take a deep breath in. And then we're going to stretch all the way to the top. From here, we're holding, we're going to lean over to the side, bring it back up to the middle nice and slow, and bring it to the other side. Then we'll come back to the middle, I want you to take a deep breath in, and on that out breath, we're going to let our arms down, back to our side. Alright, now we're going to take a deep breath in, as we bring our arms up, when you meet in the middle, you'll exhale and then we're going to rotate over. Make sure to bring your hand cross over to the opposite knee and we're going to turn slightly looking over our shoulder. Here you're going to hold for three breaths. All right, you slowly come back to the middle. We're going to repeat that again. Take a deep breath in. At the top of that, exhale. Rotating over to the other side, crossing over on that opposite knee, looking over our shoulder and holding for three breaths. Alright, as we come back to the middle, we're doing a modified cat and cow pose. So we're going to have our hands on the top of our knees here. You're going to tuck your chin, round out the back. Next, you're going to inhale, take a deep breath in, you're going to sit up nice and tall, look up. At the top of that breath, exhale, you're going to tuck the chin, round out the back, holding our knees. As you breathe in, we're going to look up, expanding our lungs, our rib cage, take an exhale, tuck the chin, round out the back. We're going to repeat that for five breaths. Now we will move into the tabletop position. We're going to do the cat and cow from here. So to begin, you want to get on all fours. We want to make sure that our hands are over our shoulders. Our knees are under our hips. The top of our feet are on top of the mat. Same concept as earlier. We're going to take a deep breath in and we're going to look up. At the top of that breath, you'll exhale. You're going to tuck the chin, round out your back. You should be looking towards your knees here. The bottom of that breath, you're going to inhale. We're going to look up again. Coming back into cow. You're going to exhale. As we move through flexion of the spine. Take another deep breath in. We're going to look up. And you're going to exhale. Going back into that cow. Or cat. One more time. We're going to look up. Deep breath in as we look up, top of that breath, exhale, come back to neutral tabletop, so we're just looking straight ahead, we are now going into child's pose, so you're going to move your knees further apart, your big toes should be touching, we're going to reach forward 
sink back into our hips. Now in your third trimester, you may need to elevate that child's pose. So we're showing the modified version. If you feel that the child's pose is a little bit uncomfortable, you can elevate here. Or you can come into the full child's pose, leading our forehead onto the mat. So you will repeat that however many times feels good. Usually around three times, we come back into neutral tabletop here. We'll repeat the cat and cow pose. You're going to look up. As you breathe in, at the top of that breath, exhale. As you move through that cat pose. Again, check your alignment. Make sure your hips are underneath, uh, your knees are underneath your hips. Your top of your feet are on the mat. Exhale. So you're squeezing all the air out of our belly. We're gonna look up. Breathe in as we look up. So now we are going to do the pose, thread the needle. So we'll begin in neutral tabletop. Check your alignment, make sure your hands are under your shoulders, knees are hip width apart. We're gonna take a deep breath here. Exhale, make sure you're bracing your core. The next inhale, we're gonna reach up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath here. On the exhale, you're gonna flip the palm, thread it through that space between your hand in your knee and we're going to lower down here you can place your hand anywhere wherever is comfortable for you your right hand and you may also use a block to help modify after that you will push up coming back into neutral tabletop we're going to take a deep breath here we're going with the opposite hand Right here, take a deep breath in. Exhale, flip the palm, threading through that space again. You want to hold here for three breaths. All right, then we will come back into neutral tabletop. So we'll go into our downward dog so you want to tuck the toes into the mat we're going to lift up off of the mat and hold here back to neutral tabletop. All right, we will now transition to standing. So from your tabletop, you'll tuck your toes and take a deep breath. On that exhale, your push-up off of your knees, sink back into your hips. And you can also tuck the chin to take off any tension off of your neck and shoulder area. Just wanna sit in this position for a few breaths here. And we're going to gently walk our feet as we bring ourselves to standing. Go ahead and rock back on your heels and we're going to roll up nice and easy. So from our downward dog, we're going to lightly walk our feet up towards our hands. We're going to lightly lean up forward. Take a step forward with your right foot. Step back. Our front foot should be facing forward. Our back foot should be angled at a 45 degree angle. My chest is going to turn forward aligned with my right foot. We're gonna lean forward. Our hands are by our hips. We're gonna take a deep breath in. And then we're gonna come up. Our palms are facing each other. We're now in warrior one. Lean forward so that we get a bend in our knee. Take a deep breath in. We'll be here for two more breaths. All right, now we're gonna drop our left hand back into warrior two. 
I'm gonna look over our shoulder. Again, bend that front knee. And take a deep breath in. Be here for two more breaths. All right, drop that left arm. We're coming into reverse warrior. Very good. We're gonna windmill our hands, rotate that back foot so they're all facing forward. We're gonna grab our blocks here. I'm gonna drop that back knee. Getting into a low lunge. Right here, take it as far as you want. You want to be at that point where you don't want to overstretch, but at that point where your body naturally stops, what's comfortable for you. All right, keeping the same spot, we're going to shift back into our hips here, getting a hamstring stretch. You can also tuck the chin here. we are here use your blocks use your front foot we're going to step our feet together from a forward fold we're going to sweep our arms all the way up so take a deep breath in arms are going to come up exhale hands are coming down at our side all right now we will turn parallel with our mat we're going into an extended stretch here if you want to use your blocks, they might come in handy here. I would put them right in the middle there. We're going to take a deep breath in. Swoop the arms up. From here, we're going to forward fold. Getting a good stretch in our hamstrings. Here's where you can use the blocks. It's up to you wherever you're comfortable. You can go all the way to the floor. If that's a little too much, we want to be at the blocks here. You can lengthen the spine. Tuck the chin. Here, take some big deep breaths. You might feel that tension come off your lower back. This is good for our back. All right, we're now gonna look straight ahead. You can move those blocks. You can also use them. We're going to kind of scoot our feet in to readjust. We're coming into a squat. And I will actually turn to the side. So pushing our elbows away from our knee. And our palms are together. Taking a deep breath here. This can also help our body get ready for labor. Taking a deep breath here. All right, so now I want you to just relax your hands, palms facing forward. Take a deep breath here. Go ahead and put the palms on the floor. We're coming into a deep stretch. Use your blocks if you need to. Now we're going back into a back stretch here. Go ahead and tuck the chin. Again, this one's good for your lower back. I'm gonna take two more breaths here. We're gonna come back up to standing. We're gonna swoop the hands up. We're gonna place our feet together we're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to lean over to the side. Come back up to the middle. Other side. Alright, now we're back in the middle. We're going to take a deep breath in. Good. Exhale, we're coming down. Alright. Another breath in. Swooping the arms up. Top of that breath, exhale. the arms up we're gonna come into a Y take a deep breath in and exhale we're gonna drop the elbows down to our ribs into cactus pose good release the arms back by your side take our deep breath in cactus pose again exhale as we drop the elbows Deep 
breath in. Palms are coming together. And exhale as we bring our hands in front of our heart. Take a deep breath in, arms together, exhale, awesome. All right. and one more time, deep breath in, arms together, exhale, and thank you.